Well, I like to joke that uh, I was uh, born and brought up in the hills of West Virginia where little boys are issued banjos at birth. Uh, and I am, in fact, a banjo player, an Appalachian banjo player, a bluegrass banjo player. But I didn't get my banjo at birth. Uh, I started playing banjo when I was about 12 uh, years old. I uh, fell in love with the music of Flatten Scruggs, and especially Earl Scruggs' uh, bluegrass banjo, uh, playing this distinctive so-called three-finger style of playing that uh, he pioneered. Uh, and I started uh, playing with, with bands, um, uh, sometimes with my uh, fellow students, uh, uh, high school students or students at West Virginia University, which was in the town of Morgantown where we lived. And then sometimes, in fact, very often uh, with um, uh, coal miners and local guys uh, who were very, very fine uh, bluegrass musicians and would invite me to play with them at uh, square dances, uh, which were in rod and gun clubs and fire halls and those kinds of, uh, of places. And in those cases, playing, playing with the miners, uh, I uh, could make some money. Uh, most of my uh, performances with my friends were not compensated, <laughs> but I could make, I remember this, uh, $20 playing a square dance at a fire hall or a county fair or something uh, on, a, on a Saturday night. And, that seemed like an enormous amount of money. And it meant that I didn't have to do what um, some of my uh, friends had to do, which was get up at five in the morning to toss newspapers onto people's doorsteps or, or cut lawns in the heat of, uh, uh, of the afternoon in, in August. Uh, I could make money playing the banjo. It didn't get better than that. And I've continued uh, to, to play. I, um, when I'm in town, I play really every day. And I, I still do uh, some performing during the during the COVID. I haven't been uh, doing too many uh, personal appearances, uh, although I did I guess 65 banjo minutes on Twitter where I uh, posted uh, brief um, uh, banjo tunes that I that I recorded myself uh, playing. Nobody can uh, be too down and out when you hear banjo music. It's just such cheerful music. I thought I'd try to cheer people up with my. Twitter banjo uh, minutes, but it's something I continue to love to do. I, I love the music, bluegrass is Appalachian classical music, and I love to play it and I love to listen uh, to it. And it's been a, a real uh, blessing in my life. And a little bit of West Virginia uh, that I take around with me wherever I go. I mean, I took it to Swarthmore and to Harvard and to Oxford, and it's with me here in, in, in Princeton. And it's really a, a very important part of my life.